Today, I'm gonna to share with you guys the five best free resources for YouTube creators. This is gonna help you with thumbnails. This is gonna help you get views and research your topics before you even press record. So stay tuned, it's coming up. You gotta just press record. Hey guys, my name is Noel Molt with Think Media. Now, the first great resource for you guys is unsplash.com. If you have not heard of Unsplash, you can go on this website and they have so many photos and it's a search engine. So you search for what you're looking for and you can use these for your thumbnails. You don't even have to pay for them and you can use these photos. It's absolutely free. There's no copyright infringement. There's nothing like that. You could just use these photos on your YouTube videos. You can use them in your videos if you wanted to do that. You could use them for thumbnails. We like to use this for thumbnails because you can find amazing photos on this website. So if you haven't checked out Unsplash, make sure that you do that. Number two is Canva. Now actually Unsplash and Canva pair really nice together because you can take a free photo off of Unsplash throw it inside of Canva and Canva is basically like a graphic design but made really really easy so if you don't know what you're doing you're a complete beginner then you can use canva.com they have really cool presets so you can make thumbnails in there you can also make end cards and I actually made an end card with Canva and you can click on the card right now if you want to watch that but uh, there's all sorts of stuff you can do in there you can make logos you can make intros to your YouTube videos the list goes on and on with Canva. You can make your YouTube channel art. You can literally do anything you need to do. If it is graphic design, check out Canva. And I love their presets. You can literally search in YouTube outro, YouTube intro, you know, anything, and you're gonna find something there for you. And one last thing that I love about Canva is that they have a free and a pro version, but their free version is not like super limiting. Like they have tons of stuff available on their free version. It shouldn't be free, but it's free. And all this stuff, by the way, is gonna be in the description below if you just wanna go and maybe even sign up for the pro version or even just check out the free version. Uh, all the links and all that kind of stuff will be in the description below. The number three best free resource is actually our royalty-free music video. We talk about some of the best royalty-free uh, sites to use or website channels to use where to actually get the music because as you know, if you use any song you want on YouTube, you can actually either get a copyright strike, which is terrible, or they'll just like demonetize your video. And you don't want that to happen. So you want to use copyright free music in your YouTube videos so you can actually check out our video or go in the description below and we're gonna list some of those YouTube channels that offer copyright free music and you can download their music to use for your YouTube videos. And that is like, I, I use this all the time until I actually ended up getting a music subscription. But uh, this is a major hack. If you are balling on a budget, you got nothing to spend, definitely check out some of these YouTube channels down in the description. Number four is vidIQ. This is a Chrome extension and it is absolutely phenomenal because you can see what other people are tagging their videos. You can also see what is high competition or low competition for certain search phrases or keywords. And so this is a must have when it comes to actually planning your YouTube videos and finding out what kind of topics do you wanna make. They'll actually give you lists of like what you should make videos on. So it's really a fantastic tool. And there's really so much more that goes into it uh, with analytics and helping you with your own tags. Now they have a free version, but if you want to use a paid version, you can use vidIQ.com forward slash think and you got a 30 day free trial on any of their paid programs. Now they also have that free version, like I said, so you can use that or try out that free trial. But vidIQ really is fantastic when it comes to actually growing on YouTube, getting views and making the right videos. You really wanna check out vidIQ. They have tons of tutorials on how to use it. It's just very easy to use and you'll learn it very quickly. So make sure you check it out, vidIQ.com forward slash think. Now we're gonna get to number five and I wanna give you a bonus, okay? I have something for you guys and it's gonna be free, but that's gonna be after number five, so stay tuned for that. But first, like this video and comment down below. Let me know if there's anything else that I'm missing in these free resources. Maybe we'll have to make a part two at some point and talk about more free resources because really when you don't know about these things and then you find them, it's like finding gold because you need to know what these things are because they help you so much. But let me know if you guys have anything to add in the comments down below.
All right, tip number five is actually YouTube Studio. So a lot of people know that they have a desktop version, but if you didn't know, they have a version for your phone. They have an app, they have a YouTube Studio app, and you can go on there and you can look at your analytics and all sorts of things on the app. And it's a really cool app that surprisingly, a lot of people don't know that they have. So you do wanna check out the app, but even on the desktop version, when you get onto that desktop version, there is so much stuff that they're adding to YouTube Studio when it comes to analytics. If you are inside YouTube Studio, figuring out exactly you know how your videos are doing or what videos are doing well, then you need to get in there. There's a lot of information that they've been adding. So if you haven't even checked the past month or two, Get in there and look around, and that's actually going to help you grow. Sean Cannell always says, what's measured is improved. So get inside there and see what's doing well, and you can you know, always double down on that. See what's not doing well, see how you can improve, and overall, that's gonna help you succeed on YouTube is by diving in and really looking at how you're doing and how you can improve. All right, I know you guys are waiting for it. It's the bonus resource for you guys, and that is thinkmasterclass.com. If you wanna learn how to actually turn YouTube into a business and make money on YouTube and get views on YouTube, then go to thinkmasterclass.com and you guys are going to love that free resource there. There is so much information. Sean really breaks down how he got started on YouTube and it's just a fantastic resource that if you have not checked that out yet, I mean, it's free. Absolutely free, it costs nothing. You need to go check it out. You can also click on the screen right now if you wanna learn how to get views on YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next video.